There are some people who enjoy spending their time in CAS, others who enjoy spending hours building, and then there are the people who actually like to play the game. I'm here to help you gameplay freaks, like myself, who constantly run out of ideas and need to add a bit of spice, a little bit of scandal to their game. These tips can be applied to those who only have one pack, or all 50 billion of them. And don't worry console players, this video applies to you guys as well. The first thing I'm gonna need you guys to do is stop playing your game as if it's a utopia. I know your type. I was one of you guys at one point. Makes a couple of sims, they get married, have some kids, the kids grow up, get good grades in school, eventually move out, get married, have kids of their own, and the cycle continues. Now it's time to bury that playstyle and add a little bit of chaos. I want to see dad coming home from work one night and getting burgled where the burglar happened to take all the household funds and leave the family with zero simoleons. I want to see mummy kissing Santa Claus underneath the mistletoe and maybe she'll be riding Santa's reindeer all night long. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Perhaps one of the daughters has a major crush on some guy and goes all yandere on all the girls who try to talk to him. Maybe she even goes as far as stalking him home, joining the same career he joins, changing her look to match what he finds attractive. Oh my gosh, he thinks she's basic looking. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Oh my gosh. Stop making your sims so likeable and start making some enemies. Maybe a rival co-worker or even start having bad relationships with family members like a sibling or a parent. An identity crisis is something that happens to teenagers all the time. So maybe halfway through your Sims teen life stage, change up their style. Maybe even use a random generator to choose what type of aesthetic you should go for. These parents unfortunately can't conceive any more children. However, they found a random baby at their doorstep. Once aged up, the parents found out that the baby was a vampire and coincidentally had the name Edward Cullen. <laughs> Edward Cullen, oh my. <laughs> How is Edward going to manage having human parents? Will his vampire instincts take over? Or will he learn to love humans and neglect his occult nature? How will the parents, an already existing child that I forgot to mention before, going to handle having a vampire in their family? Will they be able to accept this as their new norm? Or will they treat him with neglect and disappointment? Now, some of those were a bit out there so i'm gonna tone it down a little and give you guys some more mundane suggestions that will also help enhance your gameplay change the lifespan duration in your game depending on the type of gameplay i like to change it up a bit and use long instead of normal with seasons installed you can change the duration of the season in the weather settings i usually have mine set to 14 days for each season but i might change it up and do the 28 days for a while makes the game more realistic Take full advantage of the holiday feature that comes with seasons and make some holidays up or use already existing ones. In my game, I always add bonfire night as every year my family and I go to our local fun fair and watch the fireworks display. Except for 2020, <laughs> thanks COVID. I like to give my Sims five days of summer vacation where they can just relax and take a break from school and work. Or maybe add a more non-conventional holiday. <laughs> it's really up to you guys. This is Mark. He's a super rich sim who lives in this super extravagant house. Wow. How he got all this money you ask? We ain't gonna talk about that. Mark has everything he's ever wanted and has all this money left over. He can't buy any real estate because for some reason that isn't a feature in this game. Sims team, why isn't this a feature in this game? I want this sim to have holiday homes in different worlds. Sims team, please, 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 please. But what he can do is own a restaurant franchise. Mark decided to open an eatery called Whack Donald's and business started booming. He now owns multiple Whack Donald's where he continues to rake in that dough and is also kept busy by managing them all. The game is really lacking when it comes to types of social events, so make some of your own. When two sims get married, have them take a honeymoon by using the vacation feature where they can spend some alone time. If a sim has died, host a funeral. And when I say funeral, I'm in a house party. I know granny's in the coffin getting turned, so let's pop some bottles, put some music and get lit. 
Why not try and have family movie night every Friday? Or attempt having a sleepover at your Sims friend's house? I like to use MT Command Center to transfer Sims between households. For example, this is Stacy. I temporarily put her into the Stanford household as she's having a sleepover with her best friend Ashley. But what Ashley doesn't know is that the only reason Stacy agreed to a sleepover is because she wanted to hook up with Ashley's young and hot dad. But she accidentally got pregnant and is now carrying her best friend's half sister. Sorry guys, my tongue just got burnt from how hot this tea is. God damn, Stacy. Now, these are only a few of the gameplay ideas I have stored in my unusually small brain. If you want a part two, make sure to give this video a like and tell me down in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of the other stuff I have on my channel. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video.